CJ, I know you kind of always said in the past that you kind of look at every training camp, you have to kind of fight to survive. How much different is it coming in with a new coach and new staff? These weren't, these aren't the guys who obviously took the chance on you to begin with. Um, yeah, you know, um, they're not the guys who brought me in, obviously. We, we all know that, but these guys have made it made it clear right away that, that, that they see value in what I do, and I'm excited to come out here and compete. What kind of role do you see yourself having with it? Is it going to be similar last year or is it different? Whatever it is, I'm ready to do it. That, that's really it. No, that's the name of the game with my position. Um, I've always kind of played all over the place a little bit. And, uh, you know, we have some really, really smart coaches who, who, who go out here and dial things up um, and make it hard for anybody to match up with us. So I'm, I'm excited for whatever role that is. CJ, coach was talking today about how even though, you know, you can only have 11 guys on the field, he was talking about your knowledge of the offense and how because you can do so many things, you study a lot of different positions and know what to do. I guess what is sort of your approach to that, to knowing what's going on besides just at fullback? Yeah, I mean, that's kind of how I've always always approached it. And, um, you know, letting these guys know early that, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm ready to do whatever. Um, if that's playing the F tight end position, lining up out wide or in the slot, um, halfback, fullback, whatever yeah. it is, uh, I want to be well versed in it all. And, and be and be a good mix up. Is it kind of scary knowing that the fullback is like a dying breed in the NFL or it slowed down, I guess, at Who's least this wow, transitioning yeah. and you have to learn so much and many different things to continue your career and things like that? Who who said who said who said it was a dying breed? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, uh, there are, there are less less fullbacks than there were, you know, a handful of years ago, but um, there's still so many teams that do employ it. And of those teams who do, they are very, they are very successful. And uh, so I'm just, like I said earlier, I'm just glad to have the opportunity to come out here and compete, and uh, you know, still and still and still be a part of that, uh, that 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 slim group, I guess. How do you hope your skill set kind of translates to this new offense? Obviously, back to first game. Hands are great. You got speed. How do you kind of hope it translates? I don't hear that often. Thanks, man. <laughs> <laughs> Fast and I got hands. I appreciate that. Um, you know, uh, this is year seven now. Uh, you know, six on the active, and you know, I've I've, I've kind of been doing a little bit of everything um, the whole time. You know, if it's catching balls, if it's if it's lead blocking, um, if it's pass pro, and, uh, w w whatever it is, I'm whatever whatever it is whatever it is they ask me to do, I'm just gonna go out there and try to get it done. You're starting to feel some of the years, like you said, seven now, and you're doing the hard stuff too. I mean, you're in the trenches. You start is it starting to add up a little bit on the body. Nah, I feel great, man. I, I feel great. Uh, you know, as you get older. And, uh, and, you're, and you're in this league longer, you, you learn how to take care of your body more. Uh, you know, I was a lot more sore uh, early on in my career than I am now. I feel like you have more of a veteran voice on this team. Like, you're one of the guys who've been here longest now, and obviously the new regime coming in. Do you feel like your voice carries and maybe people listen a little more to your voice? Uh, I guess that's not for me to say. Um, you know, I've always, I've always tried to be who I am, no matter, you know, being first year um, to now, just being who I am. And if, if that means people listen, uh, they listen, and if they don't, they don't. You know, I'm just going to be me, and uh, you know, I love this team and my teammates. Uh, we we all respect each other. Was that kind of talked earlier about yeah. how when he was playing quarterback, you know, sometimes he didn't like to play calls, so you were hinting at like Kirk doing a little bit of that. How are you kind of seeing that relationship build and and how much trust you kind of do that? Oh uh, yeah, I mean, it's a it's a great relationship. They've obviously been been with each other before, and uh, you know, it's it's been cool. It's been cool to see. Uh, you know, their minds uh, collaborating and all that. Like I said earlier, we have some super, super smart coaches and Kirk, you know, and Kirk is right, is right up there with him. Um, he knows football in and out and I, I'm, I'm just excited to see it. With Saturday being the first day that fans are here for camp, like does that have a big impact for you guys during practice when there are fans here and kind of bring a different energy? 100%. It's all, you know, it's it's all about the fans, you know. We, we, I, I love the Minnesota fans growing up in Minnesota myself, uh, being a fan. So on Saturday, it's going to be special. Having my family out here, having all the fans out here, uh, you know, the first time we can come out here and entertain, um, you know, obviously get our work done, but entertain the fans, um, you know, definitely does bring a different excitement. I'm not knocking Zim in any way, but how much different is it seeing O'Connell just kind of bouncing around? I mean, he looks like he could still be a player. He's not that far removed from being around. But how much different is it this year just coming out and seeing that guy bouncing around and, and just the, the different energy he brings. Yeah, he he is who he is. Um, you know, it's 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 cool. It's cool to see him out here. Uh, you know, interacting with all of us. Uh, you know, competing with all of us, and um, it's just it's just been fun. It's been fun to have around.